Okay, welcome back. It's Monday, which means it's time to round up today's top stories in the world of science with CTV science and tech expert Dan Riskin. Dan, great to see you again. Uh, let's get into this. The last total lunar eclipse for the next three years will be visible across the country this week. And we are talking blood moons, perhaps beaver moons, all kinds of fun stuff. <laughs> Yeah, so the, the, if it's a full moon in November, it's called the beaver moon because historically that's when people collected a lot of beaver pelts to keep them warm through the winter. So the November full moon is the beaver moon. This is a full lunar eclipse, so the, the moon turns red, so it's called a blood moon. So it's a blood beaver moon if you want to be fancy dancy and farmer's <laughs> almanac -y about it. But all you need to know is get up a little early tomorrow. Between 516 and 641 is when the moon will be totally eclipsed, totally red, uh, as long as there's a break in the clouds you'll be able to see this from anywhere in Toronto you don't need to get out of the city to see this just look for the moon and uh, you know 85 minutes of total eclipse so uh, this is you know there's no reason not to do this especially if you have kids goodness knows they're not in school right now so you can find something educational to do and teach them about eclipses oh that is so cool we'll have to sneak outside of the studio and get a peek of that from our parking lot oh, yeah. but hey at least the light pollution isn't affecting that all right, right. and this next thing's interesting do dogs experience the world the way we do I like this. They put some dogs in a brain scanner to see how their brains light up when they see movies. They recorded these movies taken from the perspective of a dog like this, low to the ground, with dogs running around and balls and all the things a dog would see. And when they played the movie, they scanned the brains of the dog. Now, this is something that's been done for humans many times. Mm -hmm. And using uh, machine learning, you can get a sense of what the person is seeing. And... And not only what object the person is seeing, but what activity is happening in the movie. The brains light up differently for running versus swimming versus sitting, things like that. When you scan a dog, it turns out that the information about what object they're seeing isn't really present. It's just about the activity. And so this really fits into the idea that a dog is really living in the moment and is really just like, I'm chasing a ball, but I don't care if it's a ball or a duck or you know a cat, huh. I, I'm just chasing. So they're not so obsessed about what the object is, but they are very in tune to what the activity in the movie is. Wow, that is so cool. GoPro for dogs. Okay, exactly. last minute we're gonna talk about this. Scientific study shows how much traffic actually increases when e-bikes and e-scooters are banned. Yeah, so this is a big thing in Toronto, right? A lot of conversations about these e-bikes and about scooters and different ways that people are getting around. Do they really reduce traffic? A natural experiment in Atlanta, Georgia, where they banned e-scooters at night for a period of time, allowed people to measure how much, how bad traffic was while there were scooters on the road, and then when scooters were taken off the road. And what they found was when scooters are available, it's easier for cars to get around. A commute time in an Uber goes down by about 10%. Uh, if there are e-scooters around. And if there's a big event like a concert, commute times go down 37%. So those e-scooters, even though you're sitting in your car swearing at them because they're <laughs> cutting in front of you and all yeah. that stuff, just remember they are making your commute shorter. They are helping get some of the cars off the road and it does measurably make traffic better. They're your friend, kind of like spiders that eat the rest of the insects in the house. They are the spiders <laughs> of traffic. That's exactly it. Okay, thank you so much. Inter interesting stuff. CTV science and tech expert Dan Riskin will chat with you next week. Take care.